All right, I've been taking a look at why I cannot kick Austria out of great power status. And the reason for that is that they are going to be... Uh, they are in a war together with a great power. And if they are a great power themselves, in together with another great power, then while this war is going on, they cannot drop out of great power status. Yeah. So what I need to do is basically I need to defeat them, kick them out of great power status, and then attack them again later on. I've been thinking a lot about what I'm going to do with this war. And I think, especially going over the infamy limit, and I think that I'm actually gonna go over the infamy limit and we'll just see how things go from there so that is rather early in the game but i do think it's pretty interesting to see what will happen so first of all we're at war with egypt and that is for palestine uh, it's over here but i think we can take some additional stuff too. That would only be fair. Let's take Lebanon. As well. There we go. And I might actually even be able to get more from them depending on, on how things go. Krakow, I want to conquer it. So I'm definitely going over the infamy limit now. Tuscany, I want to conquer it. Parma, I want to conquer it. And then Modena, needs to be conquered. Luca, needs to be conquered. It means that from Austria, I want something else than just um, cut them down to size. And it means that I want one of their most important parts, which is Bohemia. Bohemia. There we go. I have no other choice, basically. And then from the UK, the war goal against the UK will probably be relatively low. Um, or war score at the very least. So, because if I say that I propose peace, it says 68 now, but once these other guys surrender, I probably don't have that much on them, on the UK itself. So it's not as if I can ask for something like Southwest England and then just expect them to give it to me. But I think that if I were to ask for something like Malta, they might actually do that. Um, so I, British Ost Hanover is one of my cores and that actually means that I can technically go to war with them over Ost Hanover whenever I want. Which could be useful, but I'm just going to say that, let's see, they, is it a place in the sun? I could ask where, <laughs> no. Yeah, British Sicily over here, which is a war score of two. There we go. So we'll see how that works out. Um, basically, I'm, I'm done here. So I will go and withdraw. And very likely what will happen is countries like uh, France will pretty likely attack me. And that would be a problem. So I'll have to prepare for the inevitable uh, assault on Germany itself. Let's take a look at all of that. Also, we might not actually need that high of a budget, but we'll see how that goes. Um, when can I actually ask for peace? The 10th of May, okay. Well, let's aim for that. Meanwhile, at the Navy, I do want to build more mana wars. Actually, I need to keep building mana wars all the time. 
I haven't gotten a declaration from anybody else just yet, but we might get it at any point. Emulate Austria? No, no. It's just no. Tuscany. There we go. Krakow. Yes, please. Parma. Indeed. Modena. Definitely. Luca. Absolutely. Austria. Thanks. And now I don't have any diplomatic points anymore. But that's fine. So we do at least get that part. They're currently number 10. Um, so there's a chance that they would get up back up to great power status before I get to potentially attack them again. We'll see how that goes. Um, whether that's actually something... that we need to take care of. Um, let's actually take a look because Upper House is most conservative. There are quite a few things. Most of the religion, Protestant, sure, blah, blah, and their ideology is in alignment with the political power. Okay. So that's immediately build 19 okay uh, let's start getting engineers too actually and infantry and we do have the this on Berlin okay good so once I get to one diplomatic point the biggest concern with Britain is that they're... Well, currently they're not actually blockading my ports, which is nice, but I'm, I'm at war with them. So they can get up my, um, my war exhaustion relatively high, which will make it so that my militancy will also increase. Currently it's actually going down by a little bit. But that might change. No, it doesn't. Okay, that, that's good, actually. Quite happy about that. So let's actually take a look at which stacks are doing perfectly. Okay, let's take a look at the region. So there are a few areas where I want to try and at least get level 2 forts, which is around here just in case the enemy starts attacking and wailing on me. Also, that will make it... We don't actually own this. Ah, oh, okay. Hmm. Well, that means it's time for change. And you up in here. What's the problem with you? Yeah, this stack is effectively non-existent. Same as these. So there are a couple of things that need to be dealt with here. As for Egypt, this is only 33. They would accept the offer now, but technically if my jingoism will be high enough, then I can demand more of them. It's currently very low, naturally. I would not have expected any less. But the British, they're just busy around here. So they're okay. I'm currently still aligned in this war with countries like Portugal and Spain. So what is my war score against Britain? Yeah, it's even minus seven at this point. So I would have to wait for a little while longer. Even to get something like Malta. But getting Malta and potentially... Gibraltar would be exceptionally useful to me. Also for me to get... Tr ah, there we go. Both France and Russia decided to declare war upon me.
and that does make things a bit tricky. I think the most important thing here is to make sure that my war exhaustion doesn't get too high because what high war exhaustion means trouble so if i can i will try to make peace with them relatively quickly egypt is not such a big deal i think the same for britain at the moment because we have allies in the war against uh, britain let's slow things down a bit and like i said this is a well i don't want to say world conquest but uh I am attempting to conquer as much as possible here, so. Okay, you have plus two attack. Which is okay. And then I can actually bring in reinforcements to make this even more attractive attack. I can imagine that things will become tough in the future we'll see how things go we have to pay special attention to nearly everything especially the early wars will be very very slow in the sense that I need to pay special attention to every tiny thing that's going on here so for example now I might actually be able to send those clip transports you need to go there very quickly because if I can get these guys over here, that would be great. And if I can get peace with Britain over something like Gibraltar, I would already take that, I think. Now, I would imagine that the Russian fleet and... Wow, that's a terrible outcome. that the Russian fleet and this, the French fleet will eventually come and catch up with me or will come for me and I think that this is why it's very important for me to get ironclads early because getting those ironclads will effectively mean that I have much more powerful naval units than they do and I think I will definitely need that. As long as the British try to land their forces over in there. I'm in good shape. Just don't see any Russians yet. Which is also good. But we have to take a look at so much right now. Also I need to get a new Casas Belly. And I think it's probably good at the moment. Let's see, you're allied with the Dutch, Moldavia, Wallachia, of course, and Nezd. If I go after something, that will be easy to beat. Because my war exhaustion was 1, now it's already 2, and it doesn't seem to increase from something, but it definitely does. Mm, can I already... Yeah, I can already, for example, establish protectorates over there. If I were to declare on the Ottomans, Nejd might actually join in. Two good relationship. Like, how is it even humanly possible? How about Papal States? I would get France involved a second time. Not too bad, I think. Sure. Mm. France's allies didn't join this time, which is the Papal States. But 
think absolutely destroying France is probably good. So let's go after... Hmm. It's actually quite tricky. Not Sweden. My problem with the Ottoman Empire is that I don't have a direct route into it. But they do. Can only... Sure, why not? Conquest of Ethiopia. Or I could do something out here. Start going for China. But that's tricky while these powers are still good. Okay, so let's just decide on something. Um, let's just go after Papal States. So we can attack France again. Oh, but now I need to wait until I have diplomatic power. Yeah, I'm real smart. <laughs> nope. All right, where are you going? Gumbinen. Okay, so I need to have a powerful general. Is there anything better than this? Like, plus two attack is not bad but hmm No, it doesn't seem to have gotten any better. All right, let's send him into Gumbinen with some reinforcements and just hope for the best. I mean, uh, nothing better to do here. So let's start with uh, Battleship Column Doctrine. I can already... Well, I can't research these two now, but... I think soon I will, so that's definitely the goal. Yeah, they're building up their forces. Uh, yes. Please wait and then go in together. Still supposedly not gaining any war exhaustion, but that is still at minus two. Oh, well, my jingoism is increasing. So I'm happy about that. Where are you going? To Chalon? Sure. I will allow it. If I attack now, I'll arrive too late. But I need attack heroes, not defensive ones. But if plus one attack is the best I can do... How strong are these guys? Attack and defense plus two. Defense plus four. Okay, so let's get this Nicholas Ludendorff. Switch him up with uh, this guy.
I'm going to send both of these to Bizzurdi. Start taking Algeri Algiers. Algeria. It's the Algiers region, yeah. Switch you up with that plus two, plus two guy. I don't care about um, prestige at this point anymore. Okay, they stop moving. That was the goal. How are we doing here? Not... Eh, it's okay. My biggest goal is to make sure that they don't get any of my territory. So, and that I don't start getting war exhaustion from that. Because war exhaustion makes sure people get more militancy, and more militancy means you're gonna be in trouble. Okay. How are we doing out here? Pretty good. So once this is done, I, I messed that up there. But it was a decent attack. Let's snatch those guys and go after them. So I have to wait in France. You're fast. I have to be careful when they are going to arrive and where. I can't engage that fleet, but I need to make sure that I do have forces ready wherever I might go after. So if they're going to land in France, that would be great. The fact that I keep not seeing any French forces is a bit alarming, so they're probably going to land out there. Uh, it would surprise me if they're going to land in France, but it does mean that I'm going to have to go after them and then attack them, uh, because I can only get my war score up that way. So... Yeah, of course. Why does the AI always does that? Okay, so I'm gonna have to wait until these guys are gone. Unless I move into Grisetto. I can do that. They'll take a while and they're gonna go back through Côte d'Azur. Any which way. Okay, sweet. I'll keep trying to beat these guys wherever I encounter them. So, the reason why I want to do this is because I want to block the Ottoman Empire from taking a chunk out of Egypt. And, and basically just give it to myself. What might happen, I think, is that if they get a chance to attack, if they can only take, say, Lebanon, they will start taking other parts of Egypt that I don't already control. And if I can make sure that they don't share a border, uh, then hopefully that will deter them from attacking altogether. But we'll see. That That is my hope anyway. So things are going quite well in most of these areas. <laughs> yeah, so my uh, world of domination is uh, going just fine. Currently. Gold. I think they would try to leave at some point. Or are they just there to blockade everything? I would not have thought that they would do that. Like, 
Not saying that's a bad decision. Well, let's see if I can take it down. I mean, if they're trying to get units in there or whatever, I think this might actually work out reasonably well. Don't see any Russians yet. I'm gonna have to do something about these stacks here though. They're getting a bit big, but I wanted to take these areas first. Especially that. We'll see how this this goes. Like something like that might already be a problem. Now they have even more steam transports. I would expect me to be able to destroy quite a few of them here. Just like I do expect to destroy a lot of civilians over there. No Russians yet. Highly suspicious, but okay, fine enough. So they already destroyed one of my ships, I mean come on, I have a good general and they don't. Most of their ships are steam transport, so you would expect me to do quite well in that battle. Embarrassing. No good generals wherever. That's actually quite embarrassing. It's even more embarrassing as disengagement. Where are they going? To Troy. Let's follow them. Okay, so I won't be able to destroy all of them, most likely, especially given... Well, we'll see. At least we kicked those British in the teeth out there. Like, this is what I mean. Like, this is gonna be a problem, and now it's the Russians. But... It does actually rack up my war score. It's 0 0.47. Like, that's a lot each month so that's definitely something that you need to try and prevent but I don't really have that many sh ships and in fact I need to cancel this I think this is the single most biggest problem that I have currently I think the fact that the enemy can blockade my ports all right well I still have minus one, even though I did that battle there. Hmm. Yeah, of course, running away quickly, huh? The only ones that I can reliably defeat here are the Russians. Except uh, in the Navy. Well, I'm gonna have to make peace with the British as fast as possible, but I do want to get uh, some trophy at the very least. I don't want to leave empty handed. That's, uh, let's put it that way. Let's move you out there, if they're gonna land in there. I mean, this is already looking a bit better. But, uh... All I want is Malta. That's... That's all I'm asking for. 
nothing more. And that will probably already save me a, a bit of war exhaustion. Which, like I said, is my, uh, my biggest concern. So uh, it's actually looking a bit better, this now. So it seems like they, some of these guys are retreating, some of them are approaching. I'm just looking to destroy more of their transport ships, quite frankly. Uh, but yeah. So, despite everything, things are not going all that bad. That's minus two again. Uh, it's these blockades that give them war score. That's quite annoying. So they keep getting more war score because of their blockades. Did I defeat that entire stack? I guess I did. Okay, that's good. And you... I really hate it when the AI is slightly faster than I am. <laughs> that's super annoying. There's nothing you can do. Okay, you're taking that stuff now. Good. This battle is still not over. Seems like their tra steam transports are actively killing quite a few of my units. Commerce Raiders? That Commerce Raiders are level 3. That is totally un unfair. I'm, I'm really unprepared for Commerce Raiders. Oh. This should go in my favor. Indeed. How much war score do I, or war exhaustion have now? Three. It is actually becoming a bit of a problem. Like I said, that needs to be low. Oh, come on. That's what you're gonna do, game? You're just gonna give them nine rolls? Alright, you dead. But I need fresh troops. What you say? No. Uh oh. Okay, they're not coming closer. <laughs> Which is good. If only I can beat or have the British surrender. Do I already have regular infantry in here? No, I don't. Come on. How long does it take? Quite a while. Also not doing that great in terms of money. I actually need peace for a while, I think. You may lay Casabelli on the United Kingdom. Well, that's not really something that I need at this conjuncture. What I am actually happy about is that at least my jingoism is going up. So far. Did I actually choose a decent general? Yeah. But the rolls are failing me. Well, we'll beat them all the same. So, that would at least allow me to take this part. Which is not very small. If you take territory from, say, whatever, China or any other country, non-Western, usually you're going to get huge swaths of land, or often. But not here. <laughs> oh well. That's fine. How are we on war exhaustion? Four now. Like that already takes four months to to deal with. Is it going down or up? Down. Good. I'm not saying I need a second trophy, but Hmm. 
The French seem to not be getting any weaker. Unfortunately. Where are you guys going? To Groningen. Oh man. I would still not accept. Let's go into Oldenburg and maybe I can bait them. Or I can go even further down. That's okay. The only ones that I need to make peace with are the British. Like, I really need that. So. Okay, let's jump on these guys together. And. Yeah, defense plus three might not be the greatest idea to go and attack there then. But. You guys can attack there. Good. I think both sides are exceptionally exhausted. Yeah, I'm at six and they're at zero. So hopefully that will be done soon. Where are you guys going? Ha. Huh. Will you do it? No. <laughs> they probably need a lot, lot more. Indeed. So let's take a look at that, that war. Okay. That's good. So the real question is then, will I make peace with them quickly? Now, I think that if I make peace with France, I might actually be able to take, and Britain, I might actually be able to take down the Russian fleet. Uh, we'll, we'll see. Like, I think I am much more rewarded for building up a navy first. And going after the enemy afterwards so that's the way it seems to me let's quickly go in there so he can't harass that that fleet because i'm a bit scared there okay so they do have significant forces now that need to be dealt with let's take those two first and let's smack these guys as well. Making peace with Britain will probably also get my jingoism up. So in that sense, I would actually like to smack them as well. Maybe they want to send over a few more troops. I mean, they could do that. So why not? Oh, wow. Game really hates me. <laughs> Holy cow. It's just sometimes you just... Oof. Okay. Whew. Gee, that was, that was rough though. Now maybe? Come on, Britain. Buddy. Come on. Peace, right? Wonder where it was then. If it. Yeah, that went terrible. You and Dijon, you over here. Let's see how it goes. Another beer hall. Well. Let's say cheers. I want that uh, militancy to go down. I don't care that much about farming. Plus four attack hero. What the? Yes. Okay, great. British Sicily. <laughs> Fine. There we go. That's the only thing that I need here. Mm. Yep. That, that, that works out great. So, peace with the British means that I have to worry a little bit less about their fleet. And blockaded home ports is going down now. So, if I can then get my jingoism high enough, I can make peace with France after taking some of their territory, like France Comte, I think. After which I can go and try and deal with the Russians. 
Um, but I will continue in the next episode. So I want to thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. And I will see you all next time. Take care. See you then. Bye-bye.